Welcome graduates, family members, friends, and staff. I'm Mrs. Rodriguez, the principal of Boston Public School. After waiting 12 months, we are finally celebrating the efforts and achievements of Boston Public Schools Class of 2020. I would like to take this opportunity to thank a few people. A special thank you to family and friends who are watching this event and who have shown your support to the graduates over the past 15 months. Support for elementary school graduates during this time looks very different, but it has never been more important for the well being of our young people. A significant milestone in their lives has not been anything like they anticipated. Thank you to the Boston staff that taught this amazing group of students. Graduates, please know they would have loved to have been in attendance at the event earlier today at the school. However, due to COVID restrictions, they were unable to attend. They want you to know that they are very proud of you and they wish you continued success in your future. You will get to see many of them a little bit later on in the program. A big thank you to Mrs. Heffernan. Even though she is no longer a Boston staff member, nothing was going to stop her from planning this event and seeing it through to its completion. Indeed, her hard work and organizational skills made this event possible. Most importantly, I would like to thank you, the graduates. I knew in my heart you were a unique group of students from the first time I met you in January 2020. You really were such a welcoming group of intermediate students. It was awesome. Although we were not together in the school for very long, just over two months, I had the opportunity to get to know many of you fairly well for different reasons. You helped around the school, doing announcements with technology, or you just loved to play basketball at recess in the gym. Then our first school closure came and your time at Boston ended in a way that you would never have expected. But even that you handled with dignity and grace. I still vividly, vividly recall last June when you came to the school to pick up your last elementary report card for us to wish you well and your chance to take photos at the Boston School sign. You were smiling, full of hope, and I could tell that you were ready for high school. All of you have made a contribution to this school. Each and every one of you have made it a better place. I congratulate you on all your hard work and achievements, and I wish you the very best as you continue on your academic journey. Congratulations to the grade eight graduating class of 2020. Thank you. Grand Erie District School Board recognizes the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe people as the traditional peoples of this territory. We acknowledge and give gratitude to the Indigenous peoples for sharing these lands in order for us to continue our work here today. In addition to the above Grand Erie District School Board land acknowledgement, we here at Boston Public Schools strive to deepen our understanding of local Indigenous communities. We acknowledge the harms and mistakes of the past, and we endeavor to move forward in a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. <laughs>
Tonight, I have the honor of presenting the award for Outstanding Student Overall. This award goes to a student who demonstrates high achievement, both academically and throughout the school community. The student receiving this award tonight excels in her academics across all subject matter. She's highly dedicated to her work, consistently putting forth her best efforts, no matter the task. She not only strives to excel within the classroom, but is extensively involved in school-wide activities. She has played on countless sports teams throughout her years at Boston. She volunteers regularly to help with younger students in the school. She's a natural leader and admired greatly by her peers. She's reliable, determined, positive, outgoing, and has a great sense of humor. I miss hearing her voice on the daily announcements. It is with great pleasure that I present this award to Lauren Persall. Congratulations, Lauren. Congratulations to the grade eight graduating class of Boston Public School 2020. I have the privilege of presenting the award for Outstanding Student. This award is sponsored by the Retired Teachers Association of Ontario. The student who is being presented with this award has demonstrated that they have earned it from their very first day at Boston Public School. Throughout their career as a student, they have gifted their peers and their teachers with so many outstanding characteristics that I had a really hard time whittling it down to just a few. I will start with how committed this student has always been in everything they've done. From applying themselves to their academics to volunteering um, for countless jobs and groups around the school. This student's committed attitude has been a blessing to both staff and peers. Being a strong leader has been another outstanding characteristic of this student. They were never afraid to take on a challenge. From guiding their peers in achieving common academic goals within the classroom to supervising younger students and also to success in many extracurricular sports activities. This student has strong leadership skills. One of my favorite things about this student is their appreciative nature. Never taking things for granted, always grateful for any recognition or opportunities that come their way. This student demonstrates excellent manners and has set a wonderful example for the Boston public school community. Integrity shines through with this outstanding student. They demonstrated honesty, strong morals and dedication to the values of Boston Public School all the way through. They are a student who never hesitated to do the right thing. Respect goes along with the student's integrity. Teachers were always grateful for the courtesy and politeness demonstrated on a regular basis. Peers and younger students got a whole lot of respect from this student through the kindness and genuine caring that was always given so appropriately. And finally, the endearing nature of this outstanding student makes all of the qualities that I've just mentioned shine through even brighter. They have a wonderful sense of humor, a lovable personality, and a smile that is so genuine and contagious. So if you've been paying close attention, all of these wonderful, outstanding qualities add up to this student. I am thrilled to present Claire Lehman with the 
Re Retired Teachers of Ontario Sponsored Award for Outstanding Student at Boston Public School for the Grade 8 Graduating Class of 2020. Congratulations, Claire, and all the best in your very bright future. The Math and Science Award is presented to a student who demonstrates strong academic ability in combination with a keen interest in the subject matter. Selecting a student for this award was challenging for me as I taught a number of students with strong math skills as well as a genuine curiosity for the subject matter. It was this student's interest in science, however, that stood them apart from the others. This student has always been interested in knowing how things work. Often, I would hear about different mechanical projects that he had on the go and see him light up. In class, his knowledge of scientific processes was evident and stood out amongst his peers. This student is a natural engineer at heart. I am proud to present this award to Kelvin Woodley. Congratulations, Kelvin. Hello. I have the privilege of presenting the Male Athletic Award this year. The winner of this award participated in many sports teams and track and field events during his time at Boston Public School. This young man exhibits the following qualities, athleticism, determination, enthusiasm, perseverance, and hard work. His excellent sportsmanship skills include setting a good role model for others on his team, working hard, playing fairly, and encouraging others. I had the privilege of coaching this young man on soccer teams where his skills are outstanding and on baseball teams in the past as well. I'm very pleased to present the Male Athletic Award to William Harvey. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. What a unique, unprecedented time we find ourselves in. I've been teaching and coaching a very long time and never have I had two grade eight graduations from the same school fall in the same week, not to mention remote ceremonies. We'll definitely remember and learn from this experience. I'd like to say thank you to all of last year's graduates for their patience and understanding. I'm happy that their well-deserved recognition has now finally come. I'm proud of you all. This year, I have the honor of presenting last year's Top Female Athlete Award. Unfortunately, all of the athletic extracurricular activities that we normally provide to our students were unable to take place last year as we had to turn to remote learning towards the end of the school year. The recipient of last year's award, however, did participate eagerly and enthusiastically in all other team sports that were available to her earlier in the school year. I have had the privilege of coaching this young athlete on several volleyball teams over the years. She is determined, enthusiastic, hardworking, a team player, coachable, and of course, athletic. I remember long ago when her mom said to me, I don't know where my kids get their athleticism from. I had to chuckle because I have known her a very long time. And despite all of her many talents, strengths and interests, I never remembered her being very involved in any sports, but her little girl obviously got it from somewhere. It was obvious to me way back when she first participated in our primary track and field day, this girl had some talent. I have enjoyed watching her grow and develop into a mature, well-rounded young lady during her time here at Boston. It is my privilege to, rep to present the 2019-2020 Top Female Athlete Award to Lauren Persall. Congratulations, Lauren, and I wish you all the best in the years to come. Hello, Boston graduates. I am presenting the award for the most improved student for the 2020 grade eight grads. This student is someone who has shown growth academically and also within our school community. This student has um, become a role model in our school, has 
engaged in student council as well as many sports and other extracurricular activities. He has shown great improvement in all of his academic areas as he really applied himself in the past year in his grade 8 year. Congratulations to Jake Robinson. I have the honor of presenting the Arts Award for the graduating class of 2020. This award is given to a student who demonstrates high academic performance in the arts in combination with a keen interest for the subject areas. I had the privilege of teaching the recipient of this award my first year at Boston when she was in grade four. I was impressed with her academic skills, her artistic talents, and her passion for learning. As she continued to move on through the junior and intermediate grades, the recipient of this award repeatedly showcased her artistic skills in visual arts, drama, dance, and music through her creative works of art, her musical talents, and her dramatic interpretations. The Arts Award for the graduating class of 2020 goes to Lauren Purcell. Congratulations, Lauren. Hello, good evening. Today's recipient of the Language Award is a student who demonstrates high academic performance in language arts in combination with a keen interest of the subject area. This recipient has not only mastered reading and writing, but also thinks outside the box. Their hard work, positive attitude, and dedication, and commitment are not only prevalent in English, but in French as well. The learning journey is one filled with excitement, fun, stress, anxiety, and happiness. Yet somehow, they managed to grasp, learn, and retain some of it. It was a great pleasure to watch these students grow and develop such a strong foundation to carry on in their future study of languages. Je suis très fier de cette étudiante. Bon travail et félicitations. Congratulations goes to Maddie McCarkin. All the best to you, Maddie. Keep up the great work you always do. Congratulations. Hi everyone. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary's definition of perseverance. Continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failure, or opposition. The action or condition of persevering, steadfastness. I am absolutely honored to present the Edge Imaging Certificate of Perseverance to Katie Wilson. Katie's positivity shines through. She would depart the bus in the morning with a smile on her face, sometimes bearing gifts of chocolate. She has a very generous heart. She would most often end the school day with the same smile on her face. I have no doubt that her positive spirit and optimism are key ingredients of her perseverance. Katie is an active learner, remaining focused on the task at hand and taking responsibility for her learning. Never afraid to ask questions or offer an answer or a viewpoint, Katie is an engaged participant in lessons and open discussions. It seems she recognizes that taking a chance and being involved will further her growth and knowledge, and she embraces the ability to share and collaborate with her peers. Katie celebrates the success of others as well as her own. She, give, she gives compliments and encouragement to her peers. She genuinely displays her enjoyment in learning and collaboration. Additionally, she has the light-hearted ability to take situations in stride and remain upbeat and calm. Sometimes perseverance shows most in the way you choose to carry yourself through life, in how you treat others and yourself. Perseverance is not determined solely by winning or mastering a skill, but in consistently believing in yourself and acting on your beliefs in all situations on steadfastness. Katie doesn't just display these behaviors and traits sometimes or even often. This is Katie consistently. She shows positive, 
positivity and optimism daily and actively participates in her learning daily. She is kind and collaborative with her peers at all times. I love and admire Katie's confidence and strength of character. I imagine that much of her confidence has been fostered in her environment as an equestrian and in turn, I am certain that her determination and never give up attitude have lent to her happiness and, ex and success there. My wish is for Katie to continue through life this way, consistently staying true to herself. I am certain her optimistic outlook and perseverance will bring her happiness and success always. Great job, Katie. It is my honor to present the Ontario Principal Council's Leadership Award. A great leader demonstrates strong character. Such individuals are honest, positive, committed, empathetic, show integrity, and the list goes on. This young man demonstrates these qualities regularly. In the classroom, he follows the rules and expectations and makes responsible choices. Even when obstacles and challenges arise, he maintains a positive attitude. This student always stands up for what he believes in. He always maintains his quiet, polite, respectful, compassionate manner. He's a dependable student who always volunteers to help. He was a go-to person for technology. This young man is a quiet leader. His educators see potential in him, and we all hope that he will continue to take advantage of opportunities to develop his leadership skills at high school. It is my honor to present Creed Hill with the OPC Leadership Award. Congratulations, Creed.
scan so quick go but we feel need here so i can turn on some way to the sun so go ahead hello greetings everyone he sees with his eyes is what they refer to me as i would like to thank him our creator because i'm alive i'm going to keep this short and sweet it's been a while so um where do i start how about congratulations to the graduating or graduated class of Boston Public School 2020. This has been an experience in it. Ms. Irons, now Mrs. Heffernan, promised us a graduation. It's been a year, but she has kept her word. Thank you, Mrs. Heffernan. And we appreciate that from you because we all have come here completing our first year of high school already. This now helps us understand how fast time passes when living life. The past year, year and a half has been quite challenging in so many ways. I would really like to thank our teachers and our parents for all of their support to us during it all. Right from kindergarten, they've always been there, cheering us on. So many school projects, school trips, fundraisers, Christmas concerts, and the school book fair. The amazing teachers who have also shown us so much support over the years. Ms. Meisner, who signed all of us in when we may have slept in and gone to school a bit late, or makes a phone call home because we may have not felt well or forgot some homework. And thanks to the custodians for keeping our school nice and clean. Thank you all. Good luck to everyone to wherever life may, journey may take you. And remember to be mindful and kind. Always stay young at heart. And a uh, quote cool I'd like to live by. Be bold enough to use your voice. Brave enough to listen to your heart. And strong enough to live the life you've always wanted. Nick got Gwaini. Now uh, that's the best I can do. Thank you. Before I finish off our evening with my closing remarks, I want to make sure that I thank all of those involved here tonight. To Karen Meisner, who is always working behind the scenes to ensure everything runs smoothly. To all of the staff members who helped make tonight's ceremony possible, especially Mrs. Rodriguez for her ongoing collaboration and Madame Nassar for the decorations. Pies and tarts from the hearts for the cupcakes and to the school council for their contributions to the gifts. To you, the parents, for supporting your graduates throughout this, uh, their years at Boston. And finally, to the graduates. Well, graduates, needless to say, you did it. This is not the graduation ceremony that we had hoped for, but I felt it was important to honor you all in some way. You had an incredible final year here at Boston Public School, a year we will never forget. Shortly after January 1st, 2020, we began to notice an interesting trend in the news. 2020 was becoming a year to remember, and Gallum was sure to remind us of it daily. <laughs> Little did, we, did he or we know uh, what it could actually become. Your ability to adapt to our situation at hand was impressive, to say the least. You took on online learning like absolute champions. Your efforts remained consistent, and I got to learn sides to you that I did not know before. It wasn't an ideal end to the year, but I truly believe that this experience has made us stronger. A year has passed since we said our goodbyes. In fact, you are now well on your way to graduating secondary school, a quarter of the way through to be exact. Over the past year, I had the pleasure of running into a few of you in the hallways during my visits to Waterford District High School. It was really nice to see you with some old friends and some new. I've often thought about you over the past year, wondering how you are doing, what you are up to. I've wondered, has Emily become TikTok famous yet? Has Callum been awarded King of the Memes? I wonder if Kelvin has built a tractor from scratch. Or is Sam heading to the Olympics for baseball? I wonder if Ella will ever take that trip to Italy. Or if Claire has started her own fashion line. Has Creed silently solved the world's toughest math problem? Did William help him? Not so silently. <laughs> Has Katie mastered the art of archery on horseback? Has Maddie acquired the world's largest bucket hat collection? Speaking of hats, did James continue his daily unique hat trend throughout grade nine? Did Sydney create her own anime series? Has Lauren saved the turtles? Did Jake narrate his own history documentary? 
and is Lucas starring in the next Elf movie? I have no doubt that you have accomplished all of these things and many more. On our last day of grade eight, I told you that you were more than ready for those next steps, and I meant it. I want you to think back to your grade eight self now. What did you hope for for yourself then? Have you stuck to those goals? Perhaps you've created new ones. Today, we have a unique opportunity to not just celebrate your years here at Boston, but who you have become since leaving our hallways. I hope that you are all proud of the paths you are on, as proud as you were that last day of grade eight. I want to wish you all the best as you continue your journeys through life, and I hope you will always look back on your time at Boston Public School with fondness. I want you to take a moment to thank your parents and loved ones for helping you get to where you are now. Finally, a huge congratulations to you all.